HD or SD? Well, what is HD? HD is high definition. That's a new TV standard that came five or six, seven years ago. And that is the world, what, what the world now is very used to. It's a much higher resolution of the TV screen. So SD, that's this old standard definition, that's too old now, <laughs> after my, my opinion. And besides, you need cameras that can output digital. And you won't find any cameras that can, uh, that can output digital SD. But a uh, digital HD, that's very easy to find. Cheap amateur cameras. So why digital then? Because here I have a video switcher. It's from Blackmagic and it's very cheap. It will cost uh, seven or 8,000 Norwegian kroner. And it has all digital inputs. And uh, if you want to choose an analog uh, video switcher, it will cost a lot more and give you a lot less quality. So I will absolutely recommend this video switcher. And for a camera, this is a cheap amateur camera. It could be any brand, actually. But this is a Sony camera, it's very good, actually. And here you have HDMI output. So you just can connect the camera, output from the camera to HDMI and connect the HDMI to the switcher. Like this. The problem is HDMI cables cannot be longer than about five or 10 meters, five meters maximum. So this camera had to be, has to be very close to the switcher and that's unnatural. But then we use another digital signal. Uh, it's called SDI, stand, uh, st Serial Digital Interface. And the, these standards use this cable here. It's a coax cable, uh, mostly green, with the uh, circle jack here. And this cable can transport digital video several hundred meters. So this is the tra my absolutely recommendation for digital video. Then you have to convert this signal, this HDMI signal, to SDI. And then you use uh, a box like this. This is an HDMI to SDI converter. So you just connect the uh, HDMI in one side and turn it on. And the SDI jack on the other side. This is a converter has a battery, uh, but it should maybe use an external power here because the battery will last for only two hours. So now I can transport digital video several hundred meters to the switcher and connect the other end of this green cable to the switcher. Because this switcher has both HDMI inputs and also SDI inputs. like this.